Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through how I create user flow using Miro. Yeah, so let's see how I create. So first, I'm going to start by creating a new board in Miro and give it a name. The next thing that you have to do is that identify the main goal of the user flow and write it down on a sticky note. For example, let's say we are creating a user flow for a shopping app and the main goal for the user is to purchase a product. Next, add the first step of the user flow to the board. This could be a landing page of the shopping app where users can browse products and also add additional steps to the user flow based on the actions that user needs to take to achieve the main goal. For example, the next step would be user to search a specific product followed by adding the product to their cart and payment options. Connect the steps of the user flow with the arrows to show the flow and sequence of the actions. If there is any decision point, make sure to add those decision points or alternative path that user may take. For example, if a user cannot find a product they are looking for, um, they may choose an exit option. So make sure to add that as well. Next thing is to use icons or symbols to represent actions or steps in the user flow and add notes or annotations to provide additional information. If I have to keep something in my mind during this uh, process, then I'll just make a note of it. Review the user flow to ensure it accurately and represent the user journey and addresses all the necessary steps and decision points. Share this user flow with your team and stakeholders for their feedback and input. If you get any feedback or inputs, make sure to add that as well and revise it. And yeah! This is how I actually create my user flows in Miroport. If this video helped you, please let me know in the comment section and also subscribe to my channel if you want more content like this and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.